the drug crisis. The Seattle Times has an incredibly race-obsessed, identity-obsessed columnist who is out with another hot take. In this case, condemning Seattle City Attorney Ann Davison for wanting to enforce drug laws. There is a vote tomorrow at the Seattle City Council. And it's a vote on her proposal to prosecute drug use and possession in the city. Because right now, based on city code, drug crimes would go to the King County Prosecuting Attorney's Office. But if drug possession is a gross misdemeanor now, which is the position from the state, it should go, I think, she thinks, many people think, it should go to Davison's office because... The Seattle City Attorney's Office, City Attorney's Offices, they handle misdemeanors. But she would need a change in the city code for that to happen. Now, in the Seattle Times, Naomi Ishisaka, she is calling this whole idea racist. It's racist. Because the war on drugs is racist. Because the criminal justice system is racist. Everything, of course, is racist. And she repeats this often used but always incorrect assertion in this column. She says, quote, criminalizing our way out of substance use disorder has never worked and won't work this time either. Huh. Then, of course, it goes on to quote some activist who harkens back to the 80s and the 90s and the racist war on drugs. She writes, Brandy Flood, who's the director of community justice for the REACH program at Evergreen Treatment Services, Brandy Flood worries the drive to criminalize will lead us back to an era of the 80s and 90s drug policies where the most marginalized black and brown people will again be hurt the most. And then, of course, it moves on to promoting harm reduction strategies, which do not work, but we're supposed to pretend it does because they quote someone who is a proponent of harm reduction and says it works. Of course, we know that the data is pretty clear on this. I don't care what study you want to claim, although not directly cite. In this column, we've seen the results of harm reduction. Harm reduction as a strategy means we, quote unquote, reduce the harm associated with illicit substance abuse. So rather than ban the use of a drug and enforce that ban, rather than push people into treatment, we give them a clean needle. We give them a crack or fentanyl pipe. We give them the tools that they would use to, quote unquote, safely or much safer engage in this ultimately destructive and deadly behavior. Now they will have you believe that this push from Ann Davison and two Seattle city council members, Alex Peterson and Sarah Nelson, the only two sane ones on the council, they'll have you believe that this is all about jailing people. That the reason why Ann Davison wants to take this up is she wants to throw addicts in jail. Huh. It's not true. That's not what this is actually about. This is about getting people in treatment. 